Richard Cooper, you are a professor of international economics at Harvard. Welcome to WPC TV. And you've just been talking about inequality and globalization. But you brought up the subject of inheritance tax. Um, what role does inheritance tax play in uh, increasing inequalities? Well, an inher a stiff inheritance tax would reduce inequalities. <coughs> inheritance, if one generation uh, has differential success, some people end up with a lot of wealth, some people end up with almost no wealth. If they pass it on to the next generation, that perpetuates the inequality of income that emerged in the first generation. And uh, the second generation uh, gets the wealth without having earned it, so to speak. And as an economist, presumably, uh, you think this would be bad, but surely the political pressures in almost every developed country are to lower inheritance taxes. Well, that may be so, but it, to the extent that that's so, people should stop talking about inequality. Uh, I recognize, I've been around long enough to know that people cannot always be uh, consistent in their values, but my point here was, here's a conflict. If you want to reduce inequality, you certainly do not want to in, you create rentier classes in society because that perpetuates and reinforces the inequality. So to the extent that you don't want inheritance taxes, stop talking about inequality. I mean, this is a point that Thomas Piketty made very forcefully in his bestseller. Well, I haven't read Piketty, so I'm... I'm uh, sure you read the, the reviews there. I read some reviews of yeah. it, yes, but they didn't emphasize this point. Uh, uh, no, but I mean the transmission of, uh, of capital from one generation to yes, another. So yes, that, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, in the end, you, you lose... Um, yeah. I, I suppose you increase social inequality. You, you reduce social mobility. Is that a side effect, you think? Social mobility is, a, uh, is actually a different phenomenon, and it's a very complex phenomenon. I think it has to do less with inequality than with things like education and other factors that people were talking about. So I'm talking about perpetuating inequality from one generation to another, sure. uh, which is inheritances do directly. Yes. I mean, you know, and so to the extent that you're concerned about inequality, you should want to diminish inheritances from one generation to another. And if you don't want to diminish inheritances, lighten up on inequality. I'm just calling for logical consistency, that's all. Richard Cooper. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very much an American. I believe that uh, every generation should make it on its own. I think the American system is pretty good, which is uh, quite stiff, not 100%, but quite stiff tax on inheritance estates above a certain scale, but the, um, uh, the owner of the uh, net worth can avoid the tax by giving it to uh, accepted charities, the Metropolitan Opera of New York, uh, the Salvation Army, or whatever, so that people have a choice, either give it to your children and pay a stiff tax, or give it to social charities and avoid the tax. And that seems to me actually quite a sensible system. Sounds very good to me too. Yeah. Richard Cooper, thank you very much indeed. Right, thank you.